Friends, you know that after we eat, there are certain uh, prayers that can be said, certain thanks that are scripted. And depending on what you have eaten, there's different um, prayers that can be said to thank God for the meal. And basically the idea is that you don't want to um, get haughty. You want to stay humble. We want to move from haughty to humble. We don't want to think that it was our prowess and our money and our strength and our success that provided the meal that's on the table. So we have to change our frame of reference and we have to say that it is only coming from the Creator. So we bless God after we eat. One of the most interesting blessings that I have read or have prayed after eating is also one of the shortest. And it says that we basically thanking God, the creator who, who has made us with our lackings. He creates numerous souls with their needs. <laughs> like, like, it's not that he created me and I've gotten to a certain point in my life and now I need something. He creates us with our needs. He creates us with our lackings. And that was fascinating for me to think of. That I wasn't created complete. But there was something that I needed to do. So the question comes up like, okay, well, what is it that I need to do? And I have been asking God, you know, please to give me clarity. And I wanted to share with you guys something that happened to me. And I hope something very similar happens to you if you're searching for a purpose. But on Saturday morning, I got out of bed and I went out to the main room and sat down at the table and I was speaking with the creator. And I was in the absolute best mood I've been, I think, in my life. It was just fantastic. I had a lot, a lot of clarity. It was, it, it was like every book that I have read recently that I'd been studying, if I wanted to think of it, it was right there. And it was, I was super duper happy. And as I'm praying, as I'm speaking to God, like words are just flowing, they're just coming out and coming out. And it was fantastic. And it was like, oh, wow, this is what I've been wanting. I, I want my prayers to be like this. I want to feel like this. It felt so good. So I even told my wife, I said, I am in the best mood. And uh, I think the family noticed it that day. It was really fantastic. So what happened? <laughs> well, listen, it didn't stick around forever. Like, I kind of still feel like I know... I, I felt it once, so I know kind of where it is, at least how to how to kind of try to search for that feeling again, or try to get to that spot again. And uh, but it's not it's not there. Like I don't have the clarity. I don't have the words just flowing forth from my mouth and my prayers. Although I want that, I desire that, and I think that the Creator has given me a glimpse of something that He would also like to see. And I think we'd like to see that for all of us. I think he gives us all a little glimpse, whether it's your experience or somebody else's experience or something you read about. You're getting these little glimpses of how things could be. So instead of saying, woe is me, you say, what's next? You can't say like, okay, um, have you ever had a, a situation? I don't know if you, um, for me, it was like I would exercise. I used to run. I was a pretty good, pretty decent runner a long time ago. And then I kind of got out of running. But there was a 5K coming up and the family wanted to do it. So some friends went to the 5K with me. And one of my friends that runs all the time was there. And we ran the 5K together. And thank God, I was actually pretty fast. Like I felt really, really good. But then you go out a few days later and you can barely get off the couch. It's like, okay, what happened? Where was that, you know, good as I once was feeling? Like... There, it's, it's not there. And I think it's the creator saying, look, I'm going to give you a freebie. I'm going to give you a little taste of what it could be. But now you have to do the work. You have to actually put in the exercise. You have to get off the couch. You have to start with the quarter mile and then do the half mile and, you know, or, or do 10 minutes and then, you know, you got to walk and then you can jog for five and then you can walk for another 10, whatever it takes to kind of get you out there. 
but he's showing me that potential thing that's down the road. And I think it's amazing that that prayer where he says, where it says, creates numerous souls with their lackings. It, it was like a, it's like a light bulb for me that, that God wants us to have needs, like needs, lackings are built into the system that we shouldn't think, woe is me because I have something that I'm lacking. I should say, what's next? Because God only does good. It's, it's only good. So if we have something that we're lacking, we need to be able to just start to speak with God. And I think that's what he wants. I think he creates those lacks in us so that we begin to speak to him, we can begin to search him, and we begin to ask him, and we begin to talk to him. <laughs> you know, I mean, my kids say, Dad, I'm hungry, right? And I want to say the same thing to my Father in heaven. I want to say, Dad, I'm, I'm hungry, right? And so we have to put in the work. Not woe is me, but what is next? I want to bless you guys that that the creator would give you a glimpse of what is next and then he would show you the step-by-step -step ways to put in the work so that we can all get there, so we can be who God wants us to be.